All right, so today we're gonna be checking out another USB boot tool for IT professionals called Sergi Starlink. So let's check it out. So on my previous video where I did the review on Medicat USB, which I'll leave a link right over here, uh, a lot of the comments did mention about this USB tool. Now I've used Hiren Boot CD for the longest time. I've heard of Mr. Prep USB. Um, obviously on the last video you saw Medicat USB, but this tool is the first I'm hearing of it. And a lot of people commented saying this is the tool that they would use. So yeah, we're gonna be checking it out. I'm gonna leave all the links down in the description below so you know where to grab the ISO file, but let's begin. So here I am in my BIOS. Um, if you guys are wondering, because on the previous videos you guys were asking, I am using a HDMI capture device. That's why I'm able to capture the HDMI output. So here I'm gonna actually go into my boot menu, which is this right here. And I'm gonna boot into my UEFI uh, USB disc. Making this ISO was pretty easy. Now, because this is just uh, UEFI, it's only gonna allow for 64 bit and the older version of 64-bit like Windows 7 or Windows 10. Now, if I was to reboot this and pop into allowing it to boot from BIOS menu, which if I head into there, go into boot, uh, CSM, launch CSM, enable, and it has all this other stuff. Uh, go back into main. I don't, I think I do need to re restart it though. Yeah, it's not gonna show up, but uh, I could save that, save and exit. So I'm gonna hit F10, okay. CSM is basically BIOS boot. All right, now popping back in here, we have more options now because it does unlock the BIOS boot menu. So I'm gonna hit F8 and then go down to USB disk uh, PMAP instead of UEFI. So I'm gonna be using this instead. And automatically now it launches more tools. So we also get the ability to go for to the DOS menu and unlock or use the tools that would be for DOS, like HDD Regenerator or Ghost 11.5 or Gold Memory Pro. Um, so depending on what you need, if it's an older PC, you might wanna pop into the older BIOS just so you could load x86. So you see they have a Windows 8 x86 native for old PCs, then they have another one for x86, they have Windows 10 for x86, and then they have 64-bit versions. So right now I'm gonna jump into the Windows 10 Actually, Windows 11, it doesn't really matter, but it's very, very new. Here we go, it's booting into Windows 11. Just from this alone, it's actually much faster than uh, Medicat USB, but you do lose the Ventoy ability to boot other ISOs. So this being just a boot utility uh, and not being able to install different operating systems like uh, Ventoy would allow you to, or Medicat USB would allow you to. So here we go, we have the desktop. Uh, looks very clean. It actually looks like the Windows, uh, everything looks really, really clean on this. Um, it does detect my network right away. That's good. I'm gonna head over here and see what the menus have to offer. So I did notice that this was recently updated and it, it almost feels like a new car smell because it has all these updated utilities compared to when we were checking out Medicat USB. And I do understand why people were saying, hey, this is the only tool I use because it does get uh, updated. And just for certain things like this, uh, Symantec Ghost is at 12. Uh, you have a 2019 build over here. It still has similar tools like IOMI or EaseOS tool, uh, tool backup, Paragon, uh, like I said, Symantec Ghost. What else do you have for hard drives? Hard drives, you have a bunch of mini tools, Paragon, Active Partition Manager, which we had on that other one too. Disk Management System, which is I think Windows, yeah, it's from Windows. Disk Part GUI Micro. Uh, diagnostics, we have a couple of things to check out hard drives with. Keyboard testing, that's interesting. That wasn't on the other tool. It does have crystal disk mark info and it's 8.17, which is a very, very recent version. Uh, hardware info, I'm not sure if this is the latest version because the latest version of hardware info does lock you down. So this might or might not be that, but it, I know it's seven point something is pretty new. Um, yeah, you do have a bunch of tools here, burn in test. Windows installation. So you can install Windows through this utility using this uh, software called Setup 7 or 10. Let me check this out. Uh, break Task Manager 800 by 600, some sort of other language, and you can choose the ISO you want. Install it in, okay, so it's basically like imaging the disk into the hard drive if you need to install that. All right, so let's go back to programs. Uh, Windows installation, networking tools, uh, you have way much more stuff. You have Opera, FileZilla, 
No Firefox, wow. Um, uTorrent, disable and enable Wi-Fi, PuTTY, PE, FTP tools, okay, pretty good. Remote access and VPNs, TeamViewer, any desk. This has more than Medicat. It does have like R admin server, type VNC. Um, RDP kind, that's from Windows itself, so you don't really need that. I mean, it comes with it. Uh, data recovery, you have uh, active file recovery, active tools, undelete test tools, get data back. Never heard of this one, runtime. R studios, interesting, never heard of that either. Shadow copy, I've heard of. Um, Windows recovery, you have your Windows recovery environment. Drivers, so this allows you to install drivers similar to the other ones. Formatting, low level format after, and then active disk kill, okay. Then you have Dism. Okay, this one includes Dism. I'm not too sure if I used it, if they had Dism on uh, Medicat USB, but this one has Dism. Uh, Dism++, which is the better one. And a few other utilities like RAM disk configurator, uh, unlocker, WinDurstat. Okay, VM tools. Interesting. Resetting passwords. Okay, this is for if you locked yourself out of a local account on a Windows 10 or Windows 7 machine or what not you do have a few unlockers here i don't know which ones before what but you could definitely use one of these tools to unlock it you have bcd editor uh ease uefi okay so you can rewrite the boot configurations defragmentation i don't think we use that anymore but it's there uh hex editors okay videos and graphics uh media player classic which i love uh, infrared viewer a snippet tool auto recorder okay Documents, oh, Office 2007 is installed in here. Then you have a notepad and another viewer. File managers, we have Total Commander, which is on your desktop. Um, regular My Computer, Captain Nemo, interesting. Search files, everything. CD utilities, uh, Ultra ISO. That's what actually what I used to burn this um, ISO into this USB. I used Ultra ISO. Um, antivirus programs, you have regular RAM this. What I did notice is that this doesn't have bit unlockers. So if you, uh, what I mean is the files that get encrypted because of the Bitcoin thing or whatnot, it doesn't have any utilities to unlock those. And it also doesn't have uh, root FS tools to, um, you know, if you get a virus and locks you out of your windows, it doesn't seem to have any of the root FS tools as well. Okay, then you have system, which is your standard stuff, PE device manager, services, notepad, network connections, console utilities, you have, your boot record things. This is just a C prompt to go to those command prompt utilities, ping. And then you have communications with just Skype. And I mean, it would have been nice if they put Discord or something on there, but Skype, mm, not so much. It seems to me that this is more of a actual tool to help you diagnose and back up and repair computers versus um, the other Medicat USB actually has a lot more tools than this one. But then again, this is only 4 gigs compared to 23 gigs for the Medicat USB. So while this is an all-in-one more slimmed down version, it loads much faster. It has a few more compatibilities with x86, uh, Windows 8 and Windows 10. And it has some DOS tools in here. So uh, pretty neat. It's actually very, very clean. It's got a lot of newer utilities. It looks like everything's been updated, but it doesn't have as much tools as Medicat USB. And it doesn't have that feature where you can boot into an ISO from the boot up prompt. Otherwise, I actually do like this tool. It's a lot smaller and it's faster to boot. Um, it has all the utilities that I would normally use like backupping tools and uh, normal password recovery tools and stuff like that. Uh, so it has a lot of the standard tools that I would just normally use to fix a computer if I need to. So all in all, um, I like it. Anyway, that is it for me. Again, all the links will be down in the description below if you guys are interested in checking it out. And if you guys have any questions about this, leave it down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And that is say my nerd cave. Hack till it hurts.